If you're watching this, then you're probably wondering how to get the same sad cat filter as that lawyer in the video on the news. And while I made a video a few days ago showing how to get a cat filter in Zoom using a third-party camera plugin called Snap Camera, many users astutely pointed out that it was not the same cat filter. Internet sleuths quickly figured out that this specific filter requires some much older software called Dell Live Cam Avatar. So if you just have to have this specific cat, in this video I'll show you how to set it up. The software is still available on a buried support page on Dell's website. I have the link to that in the description below this video so you don't have to dig around to find it. You see that this was originally released in 2009 and has not been updated since 2011 so is going on 10 years old. But anyway, you can navigate to this page, scroll down, select download file, then run the executable to install the program. Once you've installed it, run the live cam avatar software, and I get a little warning that there is no valid webcam detected, but it appears to work anyway, so I just ignored that and the subsequent warning. And you will get this little window that pops up where it defaults to the now famous cat, but you can select a few other built-in options. For example, you could change to this dog, and there are also some cute little animations you can do like making the cat vomit. Once you've installed the software and turned it on, leave it open when you start Zoom. Then in Zoom, move your mouse down to the lower left, hit the up arrow next to the stop video button, and select live cam virtual from the list of available cameras. That will switch you over to the live cam avatar video, but it will also apparently pop this video up in front of Zoom, so you may need to minimize that again. And congratulations, now you're a cat. Of course, you may want to turn this off before your next court hearing. You can do that by going down to the stop video button, the arrow next to that, and make sure you select your regular webcam instead of live cam virtual. That should switch you back to your normal camera feed. If you're a new viewer and this is the first one of my videos you've seen, I have a ton of other tutorials about teaching online and learning with Zoom, some of which are a little more serious. You can find those linked in the description below this video or somewhere here on the end screen. If you have a question or a suggestion for another tutorial, please go ahead and leave a comment below this video, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you.